Hi guys, it's Chrissy here and I'm excited um, because over the past few months we have been building a JWEB Kids program and we have had a few test subjects that we have been doing the program with, okay? And today I have one of those test subjects with me and I'm going to ask her a few questions to see if, um, if it was effective, all of the stuff that we've done with her and, um, and uh, with the, uh, our other test subjects over the past few months. So her name is Miss Kayla Henry. Hi Kayla. Hi. Um, how old are you Kayla? I'm nine years old. Okay, amazing. And have you been enjoying the Daily Evolution program? Definitely. Yeah? Is it fun? Yeah. Have you learned a lot? Yes. Okay, well now we're going to put that to the test. I'm going to ask you some questions and let's see if you can remember what you learned in JREV. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, amazing. So let's start with, before I do that, can you tell everybody what is your favorite um, session that you've done so far in JREV? Probably the one I'm doing right now, Forgive, Advance and Persevere. I, I, that's my favorite um, session because if you don't forgive others, God won't forgive you and you won't be able to make good decisions and the best decisions you can make. Mm -hmm. And like if you forgive them, then you'll be able to hear from God and still make good decisions. That's good because when we have unforgiveness, it affects our relationship yeah. with God. Okay. So now, Kayla, are you ready? I'm going to ask you a few questions to see if um, you remember anything from JREV. So what was the name of the first session we did? Neogenesis. Okay, Neogenesis. We learned that God made human beings in His image, yes. right? So God is made of how many parts? Three. And human beings are made of how many parts? Three. Okay, what are the three parts of God? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Very good. And what are the three parts of human beings? The soul, the spirit, and the body. Okay, now, Kayla, a lot of people get confused between the soul and the spirit. Can you tell me what the difference is? So in your soul, there's your mind, your will, and your emotions, which is here. Mm -hmm. And in your spirit, there's the conscious, your, the intuitions, and the spiritual man. That part here. of your spirit man, which deals with the spiritual world, yeah. right? Very good. Now, when God creates us, He put us in the Garden of Eden. Yeah, we were connected to God, we had authority over the earth, and He told us we mustn't eat from this one tree. But what happened? We did. Yeah. Okay. And sin was made. And sin yeah. entered the world. And then what did that do to our spirits? Our spirits died. Our spirits died, okay? And so we had a problem. Once our spirits died, we couldn't communicate with God, and we were sinning, right? Mm -hmm. So God, in that in that session, and that's about how God paid the sacrifice for our sins, because sins had to be paid for. Yeah. How did He do that? He sent His Son, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, to die. Amazing, us. amazing. And if we want to be reconnected back to God and have that relationship with Him, what do we have to do? We have to believe in our heart and confess with our mouths. Amazing, that Jesus Christ is Lord. And what happens to our spirits when we do that? then your spirit will get reborn. Amazing. So that's why we say we are born again Christians, right? Because mm -hmm. our spirits are exactly. reborn. Okay, very good. Okay, that's all I'm going to ask you from the first session. The second session, what was it called? Five, five, five. Amazing. And here we learned about how to have a relationship with God. So what is the main way that God speaks to us? The Bible. Very good. And there, when we talk about the Bible, there's two words we learned to describe the Bible. They were Greek words. Do you remember what they were? Yes, the Logos word and rainbow word. What does Lo that mean? The Logos word is every word in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And the rainbow word is basically when God's speaking to you through the Bible. Excellent. And do you think God speaks to you, Kayla? Yes. Amazing. And then we did the 555. Five, five. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you do the 555 five, five very often, right? Yes. Tell me what you do in your 555. Five, five. So first you pray, mm -hmm. then you read the Bible, and then you will ask God to um, maybe like put a picture. Mm -hmm. And he to speak might, to you, right? To speak to you. And sometimes it can be a picture, sometimes it can be a verse, or sometimes it can just be a whole chapter from the Bible. Very good. Okay. And you've, You've seen a lot of pictures. I've seen some of your pictures, right? Mm -hmm. So then we did a session that was called what? The third session. A, a place to call home. A place to call home. Which is the church. Which is about the church. Very good. And um, we there's a day that the church was born. Who is the name for that day? Pentecost. 
Okay, and that's when, remember Peter preached to and 3,000 people. Exactly, exactly. And then we see in the book of Acts, it tells us about the pattern of the church, what the church should look like. Can you tell me a few things of the pattern of the church? Eat bread together, mm -hmm. drink wine together. Drink wine, nice. Uh, eat, uh, share together, worship together, sing together, mm -hmm. um, pray together, mm -hmm. and the apostles teaching as well, yeah. remember? Teach together. Okay, and that, then the other question, Kayla, is God gives you two types of families. He gives you? The spiritual and the physical. Okay, give, me, give me an example of both. Physical is like my mom and my dad and my brother, which he is also a test subject for J. <laughs> test subject. Um, yes. And this spirit spiritual is like you and carol and jenny very good okay so he places us in physical and spiritual families right okay and um we made the comparison to the church being the body of christ yeah. okay who is the head of the church jesus God. jesus is the head and we are parts of the body right um, yeah. like for what example mm. We are like the toes. Okay. And now, if I was a toe in the body of Christ and I decided not to be connected to the body, what would happen? The whole body would hurt. Yeah, the whole body would hurt. And, and what would happen toe to would the toe? Die. The toe would die. So it's actually quite serious, right? Yeah. We're not connected to the body mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Kayla, um, I told you about the fivefold ministry and I just want you to name two of the fivefold ministry the, for me. The pastor. Okay, good. And the teacher. The teacher, very good. Now we did a session, um, session number four, do you remember the name? The good gift. The good gift, what is that all about? The Holy Spirit. The Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, how do I get the Holy Spirit? You have to believe Yes. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Exactly. So when you accept Jesus, right? And your yeah. spirit is reconnected to reborn, that's when you get the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me a few things about the Holy Spirit? What is he like? A few characteristics. He's a God. He's mm -hmm. the power. He's the teacher. He's the helper. Mm -hmm. He's the sanctifier. That's very good. So we learned about Justification, sanctification, and glorification. Yeah. And when so, we say, yeah. Justification happens once when once. you are um, reborn. Reborn. Mm -hmm. A sanctification where is when you renew your mind, and Very that happens every day. It's every day sanctification. Yeah. And glorification is eternity and divinity. It's basically when you die. When you die and you go to heaven, so that's glorification. Okay, we're almost done, Kayla, but um, can you name me some fruits of the spirits? Just a few. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and love. <laughs> Very good. And can you name just one or two of the gifts of the Holy Spirit? The word of knowledge and the word of prophecy and the word of... That's fine, you've given me two, okay. yeah? So, the last session, we've already just spoken about it, but I want to ask you one question about unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. What happens to you if you don't forgive? What happens to your body and your soul and your spirit if you don't forgive? Your spirit will die. Mm -hmm. Not die, but get... It will get, um, like, un like, unconnected from God. Mm -hmm. So we call it poison, right? Yeah, so it will get poison. Mm -hmm. so it will start from your spirit, mm -hmm. then it will go to your soul and your body and something like that. It may not look like, it may not you know, mm -hmm. like sound like much, but actually you could get really sick from it or die. That's true. Um, because you always have to forgive others, but God will forgive you, like I talked about in the earlier in the session. Very good. Well, Kayla, I would say that, and I'm sure you guys will all agree with me, that our first test subject was very successful yeah. and we are really excited. We're excited, right, to bring yeah. this to other children, right? Yeah. So we just want to say a big thank you to Kayla for, for being willing to do the program for us and she's been an amazing student and we know that God is going to use her so much as she grows up. Yeah, Kayla, give me a hug. Okay, say goodbye to the J Ravers. Bye! Bye.